in front of the Supreme Court, which of course you know is one of our focal points of ministry. We are just opposite the other side of this building. Our ministry center is, I guess you could think of it, behind the Supreme Court, even though they call that the east facade, not the behind of the court. That's important. But we're here in front of the west facade, which is the famous part of the court. It's the majestic staircase leading up to the columned doors and so on. And we're here because we will begin this year with a prayer emphasis for the court. In fact, the court sits for its new term every first Monday in October. That's when the court's formal legal year and calendar begins. So we'll be here with a group of people praying on the evening before. And on that same day, the Sunday before the opening of the court, my associate, our program director, Peggy Neenaber, will be attending a church service with the justices. So uh, it's an important time. It's, it's a time of spiritual focus. And I hope you'll take it very seriously. You can go to, the, to our website and you'll find the listing of the Supreme Court justices by name, the chief justices and the eight associate justices of the court. And I hope you'll take that as a really, really serious item to pray for them individually and collectively as a court. A lot of people think of prayer as our last resort. Well, I can't do anything else. I can always pray. I think of it as our first resort. We're talking to God, the Almighty, the one our founders called the Supreme Judge of the world. That seems to me the most important thing we can do and the most effective thing we can do for the Supreme Court justices, for the court, for the judicial branch of our federal government, for our nation, indeed for the world. It's the most important thing. So pray with us.